This weekend, Leicester look like they're going to seal the title uh, away to Manchester United. How, what does this mean for the league? What does it mean for the Premier League? Well, it's hard to know what it means, but what it means to Leicester is, is phenomenal. And I think everyone that's watched it, everyone that's watched it all season long, you know, what a story to, to, to have witnessed and obviously managing the Premier League early in the season against Leicester, seeing what they did at the end of last season, the situation they're in to, to make it to this, what the point they're at now where they could seal it on Saturday, on, on the weekend or even, you know, in the next couple of weeks is phenomenal, phenomenal. And for the league, I, I think that the neutral fan or every other fan now outside of probably Tottenham is rooting for um, Leicester and the story that they've created. So I think it's a massive achievement. It's bigger than what we will probably think right now. We'll look back on it in years to come and, and probably see it as an even bigger achievement than what we do right now. The league has become a lot more competitive. This year we saw Spurs, obviously Leicester, West Ham come into the reckoning while Chelsea, Man United and others kind of fell off a little bit. Are we seeing the, uh, the league becoming a little bit better or what, what do you think is happening? Well I think what you'll see is what's happening in my opinion is that you know the top clubs or the so-called top clubs, the five, six biggest teams uh, with the most money, there's only a certain amount of space in their squads for the players. So a lot of you know, top class players that can play in those teams want to come to the Premier League but there's no space in those squads. I think you'll see them slowly filter down through the other clubs as the money comes into the Premier League and you've seen with the TV deal this year. You know, it's, it's an incredible amount of money that's coming into all the clubs. So I think those clubs, the smaller clubs, are getting a bit more powerful. They'll never be with the biggest ones, but they're getting more powerful and they'll be able to attract better players. So the competitiveness of the league will be higher and higher as the years go on, for sure. What about yourself? Are you, are you since leaving Swansea, how have you been? What, what have you been up to? No, I've been enjoying it. I've been obviously doing a lot of work with football and um, a lot of studying and, and understanding the stuff, spending good time with the family and really just waiting for the right option to go back in and hopefully that comes sooner because you want it, you know, once you've had a taste of it, you want to get back in as soon as possible. But no, I'm more than confident that will happen and it's about just trying to get the right option. With Aston Villa and South, we've got the two big jobs coming up this summer. Would you have any interest in either of them? Well, I think, you know, you just assess what options are out there and what are available to you and, you know, there's a lot of managers that will be looking for, for these type of jobs and, of course, you're always interested in these calibre of jobs and, and it'd be one where, if it comes along and it's the right opportunity, then I'll, t I'll take it for sure.